What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Flea Flicker with Jackson Kane. It's week 15. Most leagues are in their semifinals right now. I've got three of my four teams left, still alive. Um, it's Saturday night. I know I'm getting this out late, but better late than never. Tomorrow is very vital to all you fantasy players out there, so let's get right to it. All right, so to start us off, QB love this week. Colin Kaepernick at Atlanta. I know he's put up two really bad games in a row, but he'll be indoors on the road facing Atlanta, who is the second worst defense in fantasy against QBs. One thing to note, Colin Kaepernick has one game um, indoors this year. It was at Arizona. He had 210 passing yards and two total touchdowns in that game, and he's playing a much worse defense this week. So I'm high on Colin Kaepernick this week. Next guy, Kirk Cousins versus Carolina. Um, Carolina's been bottom 10 against um, QBs all year. They've just been getting torched. Not the same team as last year. They've allowed over 272 passing yards per game this year to QBs. Phillip Rivers versus Oakland. I know he's been a turnover machine lately, but in week five, he went for 359 yards and four touchdowns against this same team, so... I'm high on him this week. QB hate, one guy you won't see a lot on my list, Tom Brady at Denver. A lot of people are high on him this week, but I think he's going to struggle against the Broncos. Broncos have been great this year against any quarterback. So I think 270, yeah, that's really generous for a guy on the hate list, but it's Brady. 270 yards with a touchdown and two turnovers is my realistic thinking on him this week. Next guy, Matthew Stafford at the Giants. Um, it's supposed to be really cold in New York um, tomorrow night. Also, he the Giants have only allowed one passing TD or fewer in four of their last five. And Stafford has a dislocated finger. So you do the math. Not a good formula for him. Andrew Luck at Minnesota. Minnesota has allowed one passing TD in three straight games. Um, they have not allowed a 300-yard passer all year, so don't like Andrew Luck this week. Wide receiver love this week, Tyreek Hill versus Tennessee. He's caught four-plus passes in five straight games, so he's heating up at the right time. Titans have allowed the most completions to wide receivers in 2016 with 202, so the volume should be there for Mr. Hill. Next guy, Sammy Watkins versus Cleveland. Anybody versus Cleveland's usually good, but um, they've given up the third most TDs to wideouts with 17. I just I feel a breakout game from him coming, so high on Watkins. Um, next guy, Mike Evans at Dallas. Um, Evans has played two games indoors this year, and he's gone for at least 70 yards and had a touchdown in each of those games. So love Mike Evans this week. Next. Uh, Category, wide receiver hate, Malcolm Mitchell at Denver. Um, he's got four TDs in three games, but none of those games were against Denver. So not high on the rookie this week on the road. Kelvin Benjamin at Washington. He's combined for um, 29 yards in two games, his last two games. And he'll probably be shadowed by Josh Norman this week. So sit him down. Not a good matchup. Um, next guys, uh, guys, I got two here. Golden Tate slash Marvin Jones at the Giants. Like I said, I don't like Stafford, so don't know how effective he's going to be. Plus, the Giants have been very good lately on defense. It's supposed to be cold, not high on the lines this week. RB Love, um, Devontae Freeman slash Tevin Coleman against the Niners. Any running back against the Niners is... Damn near RB love. I mean, they're terrible. They are the worst team against the run. So any guy going against them is a safe bet to put up double-digit fantasy points. Love both these guys this week. Jonathan Stewart at Washington. Redskins have allowed five two-touchdown games on the ground this year. I think it could happen again this week. So love Jonathan Stewart. Latavius Murray at San Diego. Murray has seen 20-plus carries in two straight games, and he's had three TDs in those games. 
And the Chargers are bottom 10 against fantasy backs. RB hate this week. Fat Rob Kelly uh, versus Carolina. Luke Keekley's back. Um, last week they only gave up, I believe, 85 yards on the ground maybe. No, that's something else. Sorry. I screwed that stat up. But um, Carolina is allowing 3.7 yards per carry on the year. So not high on Fat Rob this week. Um, next guy, Frank Gore at Minnesota. Minnesota allowed just 85 yards. That's what I was thinking of last week against the Jags. And the, the Vikings are fighting for their playoff lives at home. Their fans are going to be riled up. Not big on Frank Gore this week. Spencer Ware versus Tennessee. Um, the Titans have allowed just seven total TDs to the position this year. And in their last three games, they've only allowed 63 rushing yards on average. Next category, tight end love this week, Ladarius Green. At Cincinnati, Cincinnati, fourth worst against tight ends this year. They've allowed 82 completions to the position, which is third worst in the league. And the Bengals might key on Le'Veon Bell after what he did to the Bills last week. So, like Ladarius Green. Next guy, Kyle Rudolph versus Indianapolis. Um, Indy's allowed 882 yards to tight ends this year, which is third most in the league. And he has three straight games with four-plus catches. He's that red zone target for Sam Bradford. So I like his potential this week. Has some upside. Greg Olson at the Skins. Like I said, Kelvin Benjamin should be blanketed by Josh Norman. So I think Greg Olson is going to get open, get some looks. Redskins, 10th worst against tight ends this year. And they've allowed the most catches by the position with 93. Tight end hate, Kobe Fleener at Arizona. Arizona, the only team to have allowed one or fewer tight end, uh, tight end touchdowns this year. Delaney Walker at KC. This pains me to say, I did sit him this week. I sat him in favor of Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham did hardly anything on Thursday, but Delaney Walker at KC. It's supposed to be freezing cold, like I said earlier. And KC's top three against tight ends this year. Next guy, Zach Ertz at Baltimore. I know he's been hot. He's had two straight games with nine catches or more. But Doriel Green Beckham and Jordan Matthews should be healthy and back on the field this week. So I think that takes some production from him. Plus, Baltimore's top 10 against tight ends. So don't like Zach Ertz. All right, to my picks. Chance to dance. Jonathan Stewart at the Redskins. I just I love his upside this week. Waste of space, Kelvin Benjamin at the Redskins. Two teammates on my list. I just don't see it. I'm sitting them down. Don't see it. Um, in my three bold predictions this week, Andrew Luck will have at least two turnovers against the Vikings. San Fran and Atlanta will combine for at least 48 points in Atlanta. And the Bucks. this is going to make you Cowboy fans mad, the Bucks are going to pull off the upset in Dallas um, tomorrow night. And that's all I got for you guys this week. But week 15, the Flea Flicker with Jackson Kane. Thanks for watching. Good luck this weekend. I hope you guys pull off um, your dubs and go to the championship round. Let me know if I helped you out. And good luck this weekend. Thanks.